human history is a vast and mysterious tapestry filled with puzzles and riddles that archaeologists strive to solve. Imagine unearthing artifacts and remains that whisper tales of the past, tales that are as chilling as they are fascinating. Picture a world where death was viewed through a lens of awe, reverence and sometimes fear. Stories that echo the beliefs and practices of our ancestors, shedding light on their understanding of mortality. Prepare to delve into the past as we uncover stories of ancient practices, beliefs and eerie treatments of the deceased. Imagine stumbling upon a temple believed to be a portal for summoning demons. This is not the plot of a horror film, but the story of a Peruvian temple, a place shrouded in mystery and chilling tales. According to accounts from a 17th century Spanish explorer, this temple was thought to be used for conjuring demons. Fast forward to a later era, and we find the mighty Wadi Empire using this same site as their necropolis, a city of the dead. The juxtaposition of these two uses paints a fascinating picture of how different cultures and epochs interpreted and used the same space. Despite the passing of time and the evolution of civilizations, the Temple of Demons remains a relic of a bygone era, its secrets locked away in the annals of history. A chilling testament to ancient beliefs and practices, the Temple of Demons remains an enigma. Picture this, mummified lizards in miniature coffins, revered as incarnations of gods. Yes, in the world of ancient Egypt, the animal kingdom held a divine status. Among the many fascinating finds in the tombs of the pharaohs, archaeologists have discovered small, intricately carved coffins housing mummified lizards. But why lizards, you might ask? Well, to the ancient Egyptians, these creatures were more than mere reptiles. They were seen as earthly representations of the gods, specifically the sun god, Ra. These mummified lizards were carefully preserved and entombed in their miniature sarcophagi as religious offerings, a testament to their sacred status. Every detail of these coffins, from the carvings to the size, was meticulously crafted to honour these divine beings. So, in the sands of Egypt, even lizards bore the weight of divinity. A skull reveals a tale of the oldest known murder victim in Europe. As we delve into the annals of archaeology, we unearth a story of violence from the Neolithic era. Discovered in France, this skull belonged to a man who met a gruesome end. The chilling aspect of this discovery lies in the brutal injuries inflicted on this individual, injuries that suggest a slow, agonizing death rather than a swift execution. The skull bears the mark of a traumatic head injury, a blow delivered with force, likely to subdue or incapacitate, but the man didn't die instantly. Bone regrowth around the wound indicates he survived for weeks, possibly even months, before succumbing to his injuries. This discovery reminds us of the harsh realities of life in the ancient world, a world where violence was not uncommon and survival was an everyday struggle. Even in death, this victim speaks volumes about the violence of our past. An abnormal bone growth tells a tale of ancient suffering. In Portugal, Archaeologists unearthed a woman's thigh bone with an intriguing abnormality. A peculiar growth, bulging like a grotesque pearl, was found on the bone. This wasn't a natural design of evolution, but rather a stark testament to an injury. The growth was likely caused by a muscle injury that had healed improperly, causing a bony callus to form. This condition, known as myositis ossificans, would have been intensely painful and would have severely limited the woman's mobility. Imagine living life on a daily basis, with every step a painful reminder of an ancient accident. Medical treatments we take for granted today were not available then. Instead, she lived, worked and survived despite her pain. This bone growth, a silent witness to her struggle, serves as a poignant reminder of the human capacity to endure. A single bone growth, a window into a life of pain and struggle. Beneath a temple pyramid lie the remains of the Mayan elite, believed to be sacrificial victims. Deep in the heart of Mexico, archaeologists unearthed a chilling piece of history, a burial site, not of ordinary citizens, but of the creme de la creme of Mayan society. These individuals were not merely laid to rest, they were sacrificial offerings, given up in the name of rituals and beliefs that continue to mystify us today. The Mayans, known for their impressive architectural feats and complex calendar system, also had a darker side. Human sacrifice was a common practice believed to appease their gods. These elite victims were often given elaborate burials complete with intricate rituals, 
pointing to their high status even in death. The discovery of such burials under a temple pyramid tells a tale of an ancient society steeped in mysticism, where even death was a spectacle. In the shadow of the pyramid, the elite met their chilling end. A crypt in Czech holds a macabre site, naturally mummified monks. This is the Capuchin Crypt in Brno, a solemn testament to the convergence of faith, death and the natural world. The monks here were not mummified through elaborate rituals as we might imagine. Instead, they were simply laid to rest in the crypt's dry, cool air, which naturally preserved their bodies over time. This unusual burial practice was born out of a combination of practicality and financial necessity. The limited space within the crypt and the monks' vows of poverty meant there was no room for extravagant tombs or costly burial rites. Instead, the monks found a simple yet profound form of immortality in the crypt's natural mummification process. Their peaceful faces and folded hands offer a hauntingly beautiful glimpse into a past where faith, even in death, reigned supreme. In death, these monks found an eerie form of preservation. A modern sporting event uncovers a brutal historical truth, a mass grave for slaves. As the world's eyes turned to Rio de Janeiro for the Olympic Games in 2016, a chilling discovery lay beneath the freshly constructed Olympic village. During construction, workers unearthed a mass grave, a grim testament to Brazil's brutal history of slavery. From the 16th to the 19th century, Brazil imported more African slaves than any other country, nearly five million souls. This mass grave served as their final resting place, their stories largely forgotten as time marched on. The discovery sparked controversy and debate. Should the Olympic village have been constructed here, what does it mean to stage a celebration of global unity atop such a haunting monument to human suffering? These questions lingered as the games went on, a reminder of the past that lies just beneath the surface. Beneath the glitz and glamour of the Olympics, a dark history lies buried. A witch's skull, a grave designed to keep her spirit contained. In the heart of Scotland, archaeologists embarked on a chilling quest to unearth the remains of a woman accused of witchcraft centuries ago. This woman, whose name has been lost to time, was believed to possess dark powers that terrified her community. Her grave, unlike others, was meticulously designed to keep her spirit from rising and haunting the living. The search for her skull was not only a quest to unravel a dark chapter of Scottish history, but also a testament to the deep-seated fear of witchcraft that permeated society. Every shovel of soil brought them closer to a time when superstition overruled reason where whispers of witchcraft could seal one's fate. In the Scottish soil, the fear of witchcraft lingers on, reminding us of a time when the line between the natural and supernatural was dangerously thin. Skull cups, a chilling testament to the practical use of the deceased. In the heart of England, nestled within the Cheddar Caves, archaeologists unearthed an eerie find. Skull cups, fashioned from the craniums of both adults and a child, provided a stark glimpse into the survival instincts of our ancestors. These skull cups weren't just morbid tableware. They were tools, born out of necessity, revealing a harsh reality of prehistoric life. The process of creating these cups required skill, as the base of the skull had to be carefully shaped and smoothed. It's a clear indication that our forebears had a practical, if not somewhat macabre, approach to using every part of the deceased. But what drove them to this point? Was it respect for the dead, a form of ritual, or simply a matter of survival in a world where resources were scarce? The answers remain shrouded in the mists of time. In the depths of the Cheddar Caves, a grim echo of our ancestors' survival instincts, a mass burial pit, a haunting reminder of the devastating impact of the Black Death, in the 14th century, an outbreak of the plague ravaged the United Kingdom, leaving communities in ruins. Among the most chilling archaeological finds is a mass grave, a pit filled with the skeletal remains of those who fell victim to this gruesome disease. The discovery of this pit paints a grim picture of the times. Imagine a community so overwhelmed by death that traditional burial practices had to be abandoned. Instead, bodies were hastily thrown into pits, one on top of the other, in a desperate attempt to cope with the mounting death toll. These skeletal remains serve as a stark reminder of the plague's merciless grip, a disease that wiped out an estimated two-thirds of Europe's population. In the plague pit, 
we see the shadow of a pandemic that swept across the world, leaving death in its wake. 